The inner and outer tie rods connect the steering rack to the wheel carrier. They also set the toe in or out of the front suspension. Changing them means that you will need to get your vehicle aligned after you perform this work. Measure everything carefully so you can get things close enough to drive the vehicle to the alignment shop. The outer tie rod connects to the inner tie rod, green arrow, via an adjustable screw-in fitting and the front of the wheel carrier via a ball joint, red arrow. The outer tie rod, blue arrow, connects to the inner rod which attaches to the steering rack, red arrow. There is a plastic air diverter that the rods go through. If you are changing both inner and outer rods, you will want to remove this. Begin by unclipping the plastic clasp on the top of the diverter, green arrow. Release the plastic clips on the back of the diverter that connects it to the diagonal arm, red arrows. You can now remove the diverter from the arm. This image shows the joint between the outer rod, red arrow, and the inner, blue arrow. If you are replacing the outer rod with a factory rod, it is a fixed length. Some people like to count how many turns it takes to remove it, while others measure the distance from the locking nut on the inner rod to the base. Either way, you are going to have to get the vehicle aligned after this job, and you are just trying to get it close so you can drive to the alignment shop. Use an 18 mm wrench and remove the nut on the top of the ball joint, red arrow. The ball joint spins while attempting this. You can put some pressure on the lower portion of the ball joint to stop it from spinning. Use care as so not to lift the vehicle off of the jack sands. You can also insert a T30 torque into the top of the ball joint to stop it from spinning, blue arrow. Use a ball joint spreader and separate the ball joint from the wheel carrier. Hold the locking nut on the inner rod with a 21 mm wrench and break the outer rod loose with a 24 mm wrench. If you are not replacing the inner rod, leave the nut where it is and that will get you close enough when installing the new factory rod to get the vehicle to an alignment shop. Shown here is the Renline adjustable outer tie rod. It is a beautifully machined piece that allows for adjustability while installed and will eliminate bump steer on vehicles with lowered suspensions. Here is the inner tie rod kit the Pelican sells. It includes the inner rod, boot, clamps, rubber seal, and anti-seize. To replace the inner rod, first measure the distance between the locking nut and the ridge on the rod. You can also count the threads it took to remove the old rod, red arrow. Remove the nut and then the outer clamp, blue arrow. Break the seal on the inner clamp with a flathead screwdriver. I replaced this clamp with a standard hose clamp as there is very little room to work in there and I didn't have the right tool to pinch the factory clamp. Pull the boot off and don't forget to remove the rubber seal that goes between the steering rack and the boot indicated by the red arrow. You're going to need to use a special tool for removing the inner rod. There is no room to get a wrench in there. We use the Lissel tool with a 1 in 7 16 socket. Place the socket on the back of the joint. Place the tool over the socket and lock it in place. While pulling the tool towards yourself to keep the socket seated, red arrow, break the inner tie rod free. Make sure to measure the new rod with the old one and make a mark. You are going to need to remove the nut to install the boot and clamp. Make sure to install the rubber seal on the rack before installing the rod as it will give you much more room to work. Red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Place a small amount of blue Loctite on the threads that connect the inner rod to the steering rack. Red arrow. Make sure to put some anti-seize on the threads between the inner and outer rods. Torque the ball joint to wheel carrier to 75 newton meters or 56 pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.